hi everybody welcome back so i just wanted to show you all before i actually got started so i have 364 dollars to finish off my saving challenges with and kind of put where i needed to go so let's see how this is going to go i'm going to swap you all over so you can see the challenges that we are finishing today up. is of course we've already finished shut the box i'm not going to start another one of those we are going to finish up the front and back of Marlene's challenge. Also, we're going to do the front, which this is the front, and the back of Amethyst challenge, which I just knocked on the floor. And then we're going to finish up Gina's time left. Or if I have time, I may play another full round of Shut the Box. But I do have a dentist appointment on Monday and from what I know, it's going to be $479 and some change. Of course, it may be a little more depending on my insurance, but we're going to see. I do have some cash already set aside for it. So let's go ahead and jump into. So I wanted to let you all know that this little thing has been working. What? Working? What is that? Working out perfectly fine i am going to order me some i think a9 size envelopes uh from amazon of course i do already have some labels here so i'm going to attempt to use pretty much what i got and we'll see how it goes but this has been working out perfectly fine. okay so first we're going to start with amethyst challenge and then i'm going to also get a sheet of paper so i'll know where the money so i have everything written out and guys today is my dad's birthday so May he rip what? May he rest in peace. And of course, I already made a Facebook post. Um, I may when I go back home because he's not buried uh near my hometown. He's buried uh maybe 30, 40 minutes out. So I may go visit his grave and put some flowers out and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with this game. We have $364. And I am going to start with Amethyst Challenge to finish it off. So we have $15 and $30, which is $45. Let's do Amethyst and $45. And we also have to do the front of her challenge. So let's see how that goes. I think this is supposed to equal up to $100. So let's go ahead and get scratching. This is not going to work. Definitely not going to work. So hold on. Let me figure out something better. Okay, y'all. So I finally realized what the instructions mean. Clearly, I've been reading this wrong for the longest. Save $100 or choose your amount. So this one is $25. That means that this cat would be worth $25. So all of the cats on this side would be worth the same on this side for a full two hundred dollars and this one right here we know it's 25 so what I'm going to do so we know that we just gave these to forty five dollars and what I'm going to do is give the other side a full one hundred dollars so one hundred plus forty five dollars equal one forty five did I do that right one forty five is that right Okay, so both sides for Amethyst Challenge does equal up to $200. I had to finish these two, and for the back side, I went ahead and gave it $100 even. So we are down to $219, and I'll just put that to the side. And let's go ahead and finish Marlene's Challenge. I am going to turn this upside down, that way I can scratch properly, maybe. Yep, that's definitely not working. I believe that this deck of cards would be heavy enough. <laughs> so we have $2 for Marlene. And let's see what else we get. Is it only 8 And it is. So $2, $8, and I'm writing that down. And what is this one? $3? That's not bad at all. So 8 9 10 3 is 13 So 13 for that side. And we are done. Let's go ahead and finish this side. And where is that dime? So 13 and for this one, we got $10. $10, 14 so $10, 14 dollars. And what does this say? 35 or roll dice and double. So I'm going to go ahead and go with 35. 
and then we have two more so we have 22 and for the last one we have $15 so 22 and 15 and let's see what and that equals started to. with shut the box so I have my two dice and I'm just going to roll them and put them in here and let's see if I can make room for you uh oh make sure I'm not pressing anything because I am at work so shh be quiet don't tell nobody I have my two colors so the black one will be what I owe well the black one will the blue one will be what I owe. And we're doing this low income style. So let's go ahead and go. And remember I'm rolling my dice in these. And my dice are from Erica over at Black and Blue. She don't make these anymore. But she do still make dice. But they're bigger. So let me just put this there. Okay, let me put this out of light. So let's go ahead. We have 100. Well, no we don't. We have $84 to work with. So as I go through, we'll be calculating everything. And I don't know, let's see, I don't know where my calculator is, but I'm sure it's somewhere looking at me, <laughs> but it's okay. We'll work with what we got. And let me just put this down there. So we're starting off with the first row. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So for 11, we can do just the right color. Let's do nine and 11. And then let's go to the next one. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can do eight, nine. Whoops. And then let's put this over here. Let's do roll again. We have six, seven, eight, nine. So uh oh, six and three, I believe. Six and three is nine. And clearly, <laughs> I can't tell where to put the cap on, but it's okay. We got two and two is four. So we got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, let's see what we get. 3, 4, 5. <laughs> 5. Okay, okay. So we got 5. And let's see if we could possibly get a 7. I don't think so. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's go ahead and for this one, we'll do 1 for $1. So 1. And I'm going to go ahead and sit down now since I know everything is in camera. So let's start. Let's do that again since it did go out the box. 4. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll do 9, 10. Six, seven, six, seven, five, six, seven, five, seven. We got three, four. So, whoops, four. And let's roll again. One and four is five. Uh oh, so we got one, two, whoops, we already did that one, two, and three. So we owe that one three dollars. One and one is two. Three, six, three, four, five, six, five, twelve. So we got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Okay, we'll keep going. And I'm just going to check to make sure that you all are in frame, which you are. So let's keep going. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. So we're going to color one, two, three, four. And let's keep playing. We got five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do eight, three, five, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do seven and we'll do eight. We got five, we got six. So let's go ahead and do six. We got six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll do nine. We got three and four, four. And six is 12, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we got, nope. So we got to do one, whoops. One, two, three, four. So four dollars. And we'll keep going. Two, whoops. So we'll go ahead and color two. Okay, let's try that again. Six and six is 12. So nine, 10, 11, 12, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, three. Four and four is eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got five, six, seven, eight. So six, seven, and eight, seven, eight. And then let's take one away. Let's see if we can get this six, y'all. I kind of feel lucky. So Wilson, we got three. So we just owe this one one. So I was almost able to shut the box this time. And let's keep going. One and one is two. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll do a nine and a one. It's ten. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. We got five and five is ten. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's right. Okay, y'all. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six. Okay. So we owe one and we owe two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's go with nine. Six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do eight and one is nine. We got two and four is six. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Four, five, six. Let's take one away and let's see what we get. <laughs> y'all, can y'all see that? So we got six. Y'all, we shut the box for the second time ever. And since we shut the box, I'm going to do five dollars for shutting the box. And let's go ahead and go again. Five and five is ten. So nine. 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, wait, 8, 9, 8, and 10, 4 and 4 is 8, so 6, nope, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, and even if I would have just rolled 1, it wouldn't work, so $2, and let's go ahead and do the last one. We got five and five is ten, so whoops, wrong color, but you all know. Looks like I need more monsters. Four, five. Five, six. Three and three is six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay. We got four and five. Uh oh. So we need to do one, two, three dollars so let me go ahead and get everything added up and i don't know at the moment where the calculator is i'm sure it's somewhere where i can't see it so with that being said i'm going to pause this and come right back so along with the other challenges i showed you all earlier i have officially completed one two three and four other challenges i do have 39 dollars left what I'm going to do is go ahead and add that to my all challenge savings bucket and then I'll use my random use my randomizer from um what is her Etsy shop name I can't think of it at the moment but I'll put a screenshot above I'll use my randomizer to figure out where the money is going to go also I'm probably going to add for holidays, I'm going to do one for Christmas by itself because I am now um, using a CD to save up for Christmas and I already have, I think, $130 in. So, let me go ahead and get started. Well, I'll probably put that in another video. I actually may have time in this one, but we'll see.